Before we begin, I'd like to thank the following members for joining my channel and helping support the community grow more and more. Thank you so much. If you would like to become a member, make sure to push the join button beside the subscribe button. And here comes the video. Hey guys, All Over Windows here, and today I am back with another video. And today what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be installing Windows Longhorn. That way, what? I'm starting a new series? Yeah, that's right. Uh, today I'm, I'm going to be installing Windows Longhorn 3683. Uh, basically the first leaked build of Windows Longhorn that came out. And without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the laptop. Unfortunately, the laptop screen is broken, so I had to uh, plug it up to a monitor. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be in, uh, uh, trying to go through and upgrade them. Um, I can't install the 64-bit versions on this laptop, unfortunately, because uh, apparently the CPU doesn't support 64-bit, which I, it kind of shocks me a little bit. But as you can see, uh, it's currently connected to the internet, so it has internet drivers. And I have the uh, little trick to get updates working on Windows XP, so that is a thing as well. As you can see, you got updates. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I have no reason connecting the internet, just because the time I'm going to change it to, you know? But, <laughs> yeah, I've got about 500 viruses on this thing. No, but, uh, for real. So, what I'm going to be doing now is, uh, I guess I'm going to just be opening the disk drive and putting the disk in. I said I'm going to be opening the disk drive to put the disk in. Why is my disk drive not opening? It was opening earlier. It lit up and then just turned off. There it goes. Okay, scared me. Alright, let's see. Is it going to automatically launch uh, auto start or is it just not? And apparently there's a lot of stuff added to this build and this is like pretty much the first leaked build that come out too. There's quite a lot of uh, stuff. There it goes. Would you look at that? Okay, this is legit. Okay, good. All right, so I'll just go ahead and install. Go ahead and press install Longhorn here. Actually, you know what? Nope. <laughs> no one caught me. I have to change the date first, so uh, <laughs> let me go ahead and adjust date slash time, and I'm going to go get my papers. I got my handy-dandy papers here. Here we go. Here you go. 3683, September 23rd, 2002. Okay, so I got September 23rd. Third, I think. Yeah, 2002. And there we go. Okay. All right, now... Now I'm just going to, I guess, push install Longhorn. Let's see what this looks like. Because I haven't seen this in a long time. I don't exactly know. So, push install. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the setup uh, wizard looks pretty much identical to Windows XP. So, I guess we'll just push next here. Let it read the disk, and I guess just let it do what it wants to do. Alrighty. It's still considered Windows XP. This looks like uh, Windows... Wait, what the heck? It's like Windows Whistler or Window, Windows 2000. Oh, would you look at that? It's got a silver bar instead of a blue one. Oh, okay. <laughs> no video drivers. Unfortunately, on the camera, you guys can't tell, but the top of it actually has a cool little, like... I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like just pixelated stuff. I wonder if it's going to port over all the drivers. It should, right? Like, I hope this uh, Intel Centrino has Direct3D on it because I would love to see the cool little animations and stuff that are coming. I think it's coming in this build. I don't exactly remember, but I do know that uh, I'm going to be enabling Windows Media Center, which does change the boot screen from Windows XP uh, Professional to Windows XP uh, freestyle which is really really cool to me oh hey it's back to the blue bars instead of the gray ones that was weird or that is weird is it going to go back to the yeah okay there's the regular colored ones it's based i guess it's got it the display drivers back i'm not sure so yeah it's installing the drivers now i'm not sure what driver it just tried to install network connections so if I push it, yeah, nothing happens. Cancel. Hopefully, it'll have the display drivers. That's all I really care about. Well, dang, how many how many times is it going to ask me? That was three. Okay, four. It's finally copying files. The disk drive has spun up quite a bit, too. 24,000 what? What the heck is it asking for? Windows XP Professional CD 2. I don't have Windows XP Professional CD 2. 
Why is it asking me that? All right, let's see. Can I find what it's looking for? Did I find what it was looking for? It sort of just froze, but this CD is spinning up. I guess I did it. <laughs> I wish you could still get Windows Ultimate Extras on Windows Vista today. Like, if you do the whole update hack, you only get, like, main updates, but you don't get, like, the uh, Ultimate Extras stuff. Um, why is the screen black? The mouse is still there. Oh, the mouse is gone. Man, the freaking loading bars are still blue. Why was it gray that one time? I mean, is that what freestyle looks like and it just messed up? <laughs> what? Something went wrong. What the heck? Man, I swear if it gets stuck in a boot loop, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to have to sit here for another, like, what, 15, 30 minutes? All right, time to try and install it fresh this time, unfortunately. It's not a true uh, fully upgrading from Windows XP, but... Uh, I guess I'll just push F10, and here we go. Well, okay, good, it didn't crash at least. I, I, when I came back in, the screen was black. I was afraid it restarted on me. All right, let's press continue. Continue again. All right. It's called Windows XP Media Center Edition on this. I'm going to delete these partitions. And install. Quickly, quickly install. And now it's time to copy files. Um, oh, it's about to restart. See, it's not... It doesn't have the gray any, anymore like it did. So this time it doesn't have that, like, 16 color setup. Alright, please don't restart on me. I'm going to be upset. I'm still going to post the video. I'll just be upset about it. One or more minor errors occurred installing Windows. The errors will not prevent Windows from running. After Windows starts, you can check the setup log file for more information. Okay, so, interesting. Yeah, sure, let's go ahead and view it, see what it says. Setup detected that the system file named fsusd.dll is not signed properly by Microsoft. This file could not be restored to the correct Microsoft version. Use SS. Uh, holy crap, that's a lot of files. How can it not... I, I don't... How can it not sign these when it... <laughs> How silly. These literally are Microsoft drivers. That's... Alright, get out of here. Hopefully it'll boot without any problems. I wonder if there's audio drivers. Oh wow, it's already called itself Longhorn XP Professional. Interesting. It just immediately adopted that, si uh, that code name. Unlike Whistler. I guess because they were merging between two different, you know, builds, so they didn't really have a code name for Whistler. And Burger King. Burger King... Microsoft powered. Ooh, look at this. Uh, look at this theme. It's got the silver and the nice little blue color. It's like almost a gray. It's like a gray blue. And there we go. The custom skin Longhorn M3 build. Before I look into it, I'm going to install the driver so I can freaking. It doesn't look as dumb. I don't know. I guess it looks okay on y'all's screen, but on in my end, it's bad. Alright, time to do the little things that it says this has, so 
First up, it's, uh, let's see. The sidebar does exist. I will go ahead and enable it just to see it. Right click, properties, I guess. Enable the sidebar apply. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's even transparent. I'm kind of surprised that it's transparent considering how new this is. Let's see, what tiles are not hidden? We got clock, desktop manager, MFU, quick launch, search, slideshow, and user tile. I'll go ahead and add the clock. <laughs> Look at that. It's not even, it's flat. It's got like a little, it's got squished a little bit. So there's hidden sidebar stuff. So there's a people sidebar. There's a digital clock sidebar, which I am going to add. I don't have dig clock or people. Oh well, it's okay. I won't add it. Apparently there's a game manager in this as well. And desktop com uh, compositing engine also exists. Should I enable DCE? Apparently that's like, uh, I think it's the aura effect where things are transparent like the sidebar is. All right, I guess I'll try and, and see if I can get it to work. Oh, it is called key. Okay, I <laughs> misunderstood what key was. Restarting, I guess. I'll just restart it. Let's see what this is all about. I'm not even certain. I've never looked into this before. I can't wait to enable Media Center on this even though I don't have audio. I really wish I did. I don't even think plugging up a speaker would work. Well, I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure what that did, but it, <laughs> it's a little laggy now. It says it renders Windows window transparency and it works on real hardware. But I'm not... Do I have to open a new window, maybe? Do I have to restart again, or...? It's just causing lag, I don't understand. I guess it doesn't work on this system, which is very, very unfortunate. It's very sad, but... Okay, now... Uh, probably last but not least, I'm going to... Enable Media Center. Maybe. Yes. How to remove programs. Add new programs. Or, no, Windows components. <laughs> Here it is, freestyle. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, next. Tampering with your registered product type. This is a violation of your software license. What is it even talking about? What am I tampering with? Alright, let's see what's gonna happen. It's doing stuff. I think it's copying over uh, Media Center. Oh! Dang, if I had audio drivers, I just... I, I read... Uh, the out-of-box experience is actually... The music is actually different. It's a song called No... No I Problema by Pink Martini. Um, if I had audio drivers, I would have freaking heard it. That's sad. Uh, I guess in the video I'll put it over. Uh, just so we can hear it, but... Man, that sucks. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the drivers will work on the next build? Or should I reinstall Windows XP, put the drivers on it, and then upgrade to the next build? I'm pretty sure it's just because I, the drivers are too new, honestly. Alright, let's press finish here. And now I guess uh, let's restart the computer. Let's see it say freestyle. It should be gray uh, loading uh, symbols instead. <laughs> Did you see the sidebar black? The black sidebar, uh, non-existent sidebar. All right, let's see what happens. Come on, give me freestyle. Yeah, there you go. It Windows XP freestyle. It doesn't have the gray boot though, which is kind of weird. Why I had it that one time, but there you go. Instead of professional, it's freestyle. And apparently you can't uninstall it either, which is fine by me. I love Windows Media Center. I wonder now that I en enabled Freestyle if it'll actually install the driver properly. That'd be weird. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Where's it at? Media Center. Media Center programs is empty for some reason. All right, let's see what, what happens. Uh. Oh. I can't even open it. I know they say it's very, uh. 
it's very buggy and it'll crash all the time, but maybe if I just keep reopening it, it'll be, it'll work. Question? Oh, did you see that? What did that say? I'm gonna have to put a freeze frame on that in the video. It said welcome, that's what it said. Well, at least we get to see a little bit of it. I thought for sure it would work. Well, yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Um, I might have to find an older, you know, maybe Windows Millennium, Windows XP machine. I think I might have one that'll work. I could use the Windows 98 laptop, but uh, I'm using it for the Whistler series, so I'm kind of just off and on, but it's okay. Um, so, uh, make sure you go down in the description, check out all the links I have down there. Maybe, uh, support me, help me buy some DVDs. I'm going to need some for this series. Um, sorry this, I couldn't do everything. Uh, this laptop is too new, but, uh, anyways, guys, I guess I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys. Unfortunately, there's no sound, which really sucks.